Berkeley is now committed to spending roughly $6.2 million to construct a homeless navigation center in East Anchorage. However, as Steve Kirch tells us, some assembly members are hoping their vote doesn't lead to buyer's remorse. Rebecca, the resolution for funding the project passed nearly with a six to four vote at Tuesday night's assembly meeting. Members had a laundry list of concerns with the project, but with the need to address the long-term homelessness issue in Anchorage, some members took what they called a leap of faith and voted yes. When members of the public came up to the podium to give their thoughts on the resolution, the temperature in the room did not seem to be that warm for it. I do know we need this, but I do not support this particular bill. You can't fix a problem with money and brick and mortar. East Anchorage Assembly member Cameron Perez Verdia acknowledged and commented on the response the project is getting from the community. It's concerning for him. I'd love to have people coming up and testifying from, from the business community saying, this is a great idea, or from the philanthropic community, or from the nonprofit community. Others had concerns about the cost of the project. The Bronson administration estimates construction will take more than $10 million, and the annual operating budget of roughly $5 million was met with skepticism. The project um, is in its conceptual phase in many ways, and I don't believe it'll be $5 million a year to operate. Others had concerns about staffing the facility, with many places already dealing with employee shortages. It's not just here, it's like this in the lower 48, so trying to recruit them from the lower 48 it could be problematic. However, with plans in place to stop mass care for the homelessness at sites like the Sullivan Arena by the end of June, some assembly members said time is of the essence. But if we ignore a problem, I guarantee it only gets worse. So we have to do something. The Sullivan Arena can't continue to be a homeless shelter. It can't. It wasn't built to be a homeless shelter. That's part of the reason it's so stinking expensive. At the end of the night, the deciding factor for some assembly members may have been Larry Baker, who is a consultant for the Bronson administration. He promised the assembly members he would do everything in his power to make the project work. So please, if this passes, please do not disappoint. You have my word on it. In a press release, the Bronson administration said about Tuesday's vote, the municipality of Anchorage is now armed with a bold, comprehensive strategy to reintegrate our less fortunate neighbors into society. We thank each member of the assembly for their many hours of thoughtful work that ultimately led to the passage of this historic resolution. The Bronson administration has anticipated the 150-bed homeless navigation center to be up and running by late July. Thank you so much, Steve. And you can stay informed and up to date on these developments.